today we're in the herd with football. The Bison had a game-like atmosphere for Friday's first scrimmage of the year, and although there were some expected penalties, Coach Joe Susan says he was pleased with what he saw. You know, I think today was a, a, a really good practice for us. Uh, it was important that we got some live work in. It's really going to be, other than some limited things, the last live work before we get to game week. And uh, you know, to, see, to see our guys work to tackle, but also see our backs break tackles, it's obvious on film that uh, we've come a long way. He says that offensively speaking, one thing really stood out for him. We hit some big plays, and that's one of the things that is important for us as an offense, because if you hit a chunk, then there's snaps you don't have to take. And that's one of the things that we have to improve upon compared to where we were last year. And I think we have playmaking ability. It's just cashing in when those plays are, are there as, as opportunities. On defense, while the Bison's front seven get a lot of pub, and deservedly so, Susan wants to give some love to the defensive backs too. I think all three corners played well. I think Brian Marine is a very good corner. Uh, Nick O'Brien is a great boundary corner, and he's he's a threat in the run game because it looks like he's pressuring. He's just playing a coverage. It's called slice, and he, he makes plays in the backfield. And uh, you know, th those are things that our opponents will see, and they'll have to take that into account by trying. You know, if they're going to run, whether to him or away from him, he's still a threat to make the play in the backfield. Coach Susan says that there are a lot of freshmen making contributions in the preseason camp, like defensive lineman Blake Fletcher, linebacker Sam Chitty, defensive backs John Fox and Aaron Brown, running back Chad Freshnock, wide receivers Justin Bethay and Stephon Moore Green, and place kicker Sam Trapezano. Coach Susan says he would not be surprised to see many of those youngsters get considerable playing time. Of course, the offensive line is a veteran group with seniors dotting the starting lineup. Two of those are center Ned Bent and guard Griff Barth. I think camp's going phenomenally right now, actually. We have five seniors that are going in for the spots right now. We have a lot of experience. We have five new freshmen coming in, too, and they're learning from us. So I think that's really good for even upcoming seasons as well. They get to learn from a group that has a lot of experience. Ben says that classes starting back up on Monday certainly changes the complexion of preseason camp. I guess I could wait for school to start. I'm an engineering major, you know, it's a little bit rough for me, but, you know, I'm really excited to get back into it. It's time to, to win. It's time to win. Barth and Ben's position coach is Darnell Stapleton. The former Rutgers Scarlet Knight and Pittsburgh Steeler has a previous history with Coach Susan. I've known Coach Susan for some years now. Um, he actually coached on staff at Rutgers when I played offensive line there. I actually went to school with uh, one of his daughters, so uh, it's gone on some about 14, 15 years now that I've known Coach Susan. So. We go way back. Stapleton was a starting lineman for the Steelers in Super Bowl 43 when Pittsburgh won an exciting game against the Arizona Cardinals. It's hard to tell people the feelings that I had playing in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, I wish everybody could have that experience, but it's a special feeling for unique and uh, unique individuals that, that work hard, sacrifice, um, and, and really separate themselves from the average. Um, I try to tell my guys all the time, um, you know, we're, we're, we're out here to obtain uh, the Patriot League championship. And once you do uh, hold that, that trophy, it'll be a special feeling that you'll keep with you for the rest of your life. After his playing days were over, Stapleton thought about being an agent. But then he picked up the coaching bug. And I think the next best thing from not being in the locker room as a player is being in the locker room as a coach and being able to uh, mold young men um, into not only um, you know great players, but um, even better men on the field and off the field. And uh, I've had great coaches in my past that uh, had an impact on my life, and I kind of want to do the same. Buckdale's first opportunity at ending a game in the victory formation will be on the road September 3rd at Marist. <laughs>